In the following video, we're going to show you how to perform the glow wire test. This test allows us to test the resistance of plastic materials to intense heat over a short time, caused by a short circuit or electric arc. In these situations, the material must be able to self-extinguish in order to not propagate flames or start a fire. This test is governed by the IEC 60695-2-11 standard. At IDE, all the raw materials prior to their approval, and also each batch supplied, undergo this test to guarantee the quality of the materials. To perform the test, we take a sample of material. It's important that the sample is taken from the thinnest portion on the part to be tested, as thickness is an essential factor. The test equipment allows us to adjust the temperature of the steel wire used in the test. The test temperatures listed in the standard are 650 degrees centigrade for parts that will not be in direct contact with elements subject to live voltage. For example, the cover, the base or the window. 850 degrees centigrade for parts without direct contact with elements subject to live voltage, but which are intended to be mounted on hollow walls, such as plasterboard or wooden walls. 960 degrees centigrade for parts intended to support elements under live voltage, including terminal strips, terminals and connectors. Once the temperature has been adjusted, we start the test by placing the steel glow wire in contact with the sample for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we remove the contact. To pass the test, there are two requirements. The flame must self-extinguish within the next 30 seconds. And second, the paper below the sample should not ignite if there is any dripping of the plastic material. If the sample does not extinguish within the 30 seconds, it has not complied with the requirements of the standard.